Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. In today's video, I would like to share with you how you can make a really fun and easy craft room desk organizer using products from Dollar Tree. So for this project, I am going to be using some of the wire cooling racks from Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using some paper organizers that I found at Dollar Tree during the back to school season. I will also be using some zip ties. So I actually created a project very similar to this several years ago where I created a Happy Planner sticker organizer. I will make sure to link that video above so you guys can check that out. This process is going to be very similar to the process of creating that Happy Planner sticker organizer. You are going to be using the zip ties to connect the wire cooling racks together. I wanted to create something that I could use to store different sheets of stickers. I have some larger sheets of stickers that really weren't fitting in that other wire organizer that I created. So I wanted to take the cooling racks and create another version of a similar organizer. So the first thing that I do when I create a project like this is I see if the item that I'm going to be storing in the cooling rack will fit. And so pretty much what I do is I'll take like the shelf that I'm using, for example, like that paper shelf that I'm using, and I will make sure that it will fit on the wire rack. I then decided if I needed to fold the different sides and maybe make the wire rack a little smaller. Once I saw that the paper organizer would fit on the cooling racks, I then started assembling the organizer. For this part of the project, I am using zip ties to connect the different cooling racks to each other. What I like to do when I'm using the zip ties is I like to sort of try to attach the zip ties on opposite sides of the organizer just to sort of give the organizer some stability because that's something that is a little tricky at the beginning of this project is when the organizer isn't really structured at all, it is a little difficult sometimes to get it to stand um, while you're working on it. The more zip ties you attach, the more stability that the piece has. And for this project in particular, I put three zip ties on each side of the wire rack. In a few minutes, you'll be able to see that I am also going to be connecting the back of the wire rack to the sides, and that also gives it a little more stability. But just be patient while you're working on this part because it is a little tricky at the beginning, but as soon as you have enough zip ties and enough of the wire racks, then you are able to have a little more stability with the piece. I then folded the back of the wire racks so that the organizer would be a little smaller. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have a lot of excess wire rack in this project. I wanted to make sure that this project would fit on the craft room desk that I am using. So I took the back of the wire rack and I folded it. This also gives the organizer a little extra stability. One thing I noticed while I was working on this project is that it was a little difficult to bend the wire cooling rack after I had the piece sort of already um, structured and I was already sort of setting everything up. So later on in this video, you will see that I actually go through and I bend the wire cooling rack before I have attached everything with zip ties, just because it was making it a little more difficult to bend it once everything was sort of attached with the zip ties. And just like I did on the sides of the organizer, I went through with a couple zip ties and I also added those to the back of the organizer just to give it a little more stability. I then repeated the same steps for the third and fourth level of the organizer. So I'm actually using this organizer to organize some stickers and some different crafting supplies that I have organized on my craft room desk. And I want to know what you guys think you would do with this project. So in the comments below, let me know how would you use this organizer? Something else that I did during this project to make everything a little easier was I went through and I trimmed off the excess plastic from the zip ties. 
This just made the project a little easier to work with just because with all of the extra plastic it can be kind of difficult to um, move the organizer and it can be kind of difficult to see everything so periodically I would just go through and cut off the extra plastic from the zip ties. I finished making the organizer and now I am taking those paper organizers and I'm looking to see what type of crafting supplies I can organize in these paper organizers and I found some different sheets of stickers, some like poster board letters, um, some sheets of rhinestones and then what I decided to do was actually take a dry erase marker and write on the front of the paper organizer what I am going to be storing inside of the organizer and I just really love that. I really love labeling things and I love using a dry erase marker because then if I decide to change what I'm storing in the organizer I can simply just use uh, a towel or a paper towel or something like that and I can erase it. So I really love how this looks. After I had been using the organizer for a few days, I decided that I wanted to add a back to the paper organizer just because I was finding that stickers and different materials that I was storing in the organizer were sliding out of the back. I actually had some foam board from Dollar Tree and I just went through and measured out a piece that I could then apply to the back of the paper organizer and I used a hot glue gun to attach that to the back. That way, nothing can slide out of the back of the organizer anymore. And here's the finished product. I am so happy with how this project turned out. I love that I'm able to organize bigger sheets of stickers on my craft room desk. I also think that using a dry erase marker will make this an easy organizer to use because I can easily change out whatever I would like to store and organize in this organizer. And that's it for today's Dollar Tree DIY video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this craft room desk organizer using products from Dollar Tree. In the comments below, let me know how you would use this organizer in your crafting space. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also click the bell icon so that you are notified when I post a new video. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!